The Duke and Duchess of Sussex have touched down in Tonga for a flying overnight visit. King Tupo VI will welcome the couple with a reception and dinner tonight at Consular House. They will stay at the Royal Villa. Now, this is one of the royal residences in Nukualofa. Tomorrow, they will meet with Prime Minister uh, Akalisi Pohiva and visit forest reserves and a handcraft centre. Now, Mary Fonua is the managing editor of Matangi Tonga and has been following the royals from the airport to Nukualofa. Um, uh, Malo Elele, Mary, how are you? Yes, hello. Yes, we, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex, have arrived safely in Tonga, and there's been a lot of excitement um, on the arrival. So, they who's excited, arrived. Mary? Who's out there and excited about them? Well, they, all of the school children were lined up on the road, completely from the airport right through to the villa, which is a distance of several kilometres and the children were single file on both sides of the road and they all had flags or were waving, some of them even had Union Jacks and uh, when we got to Palihaki from Lot of Tonga which is the centre of uh, Tongatapu Island, uh, the women had put down tarpa cloths on the road so that the royal vehicles could drive over them and they often do this for the king when he comes to the agricultural show but the tarpa went for a very long way right through into Palihaki and there were children sitting along the edges of the tarpa and more flags and more waving um, and it was rather lovely so I, I think you know you see how many young people there are in Tonga when you see them lined single file beside the road and uh, you know you wonder about their future and I think this is something that the Duke and Duchess of Sussex are very interested in is the use of so the Commonwealth and I see that uh, you see that reflected in their programs mm. the next day. I saw that Meghan Markle was wearing a red dress, so I'm sure that yes. delighted some people, a tip to uh, yes, the Tongan. Yes, the Tongan uh, red, same colour as the red carpet and same colour as the Tongan flag. So long sleeve, um, very well fitted dress, you know, and flared and dark shoes and Harry was in a light coloured suit. Uh, and they were met at the airport by Her Royal Highness Princess Angelica Latufui Pekka, who's the only daughter of King Tupo and Queen Nanasi Pao. And she met them and escorted them to the VIP shelter where they waited and for you know, a very short period of time and, and then got on the road. And uh, they've gone to the villa, as you said, where they're getting ready for uh, the royal reception tonight. How tightly do you have an audience? How tightly do you think things are going to be controlled, Mary? Because you would have seen the sort of hubbub when she went to the markets in Fiji and they ended up rushing her out because the crowds were too big. Do you know if any special measures are being taken in Tonga? Yes, well, they're not going to have anything quite like that because Tonga is a kingdom and, and the, the culture you know, has a respect for royals. So Tongans know how to behave around royals and they're usually on their best behaviour and they show deference and respect as part of the culture. It's, it's the, almost a built-in thing here. But the, the programme is probably more formal than what we saw in Fiji. And uh, so they're being met and escorted and everyone's very polite. And uh, you see that on the road. You know, people were, were letting them through and uh, I think you'll see that tomorrow. Um, uh, they'll make a courtesy call on the Prime Minister and then they go to the Fa'oni Lua Centre for the youth exhibition and there'll be a little bit of a walk, walk around there looking at um, the stalls but that whole area will be very controlled so only people who are supposed to be there will be there so I don't think you'll get anything like an open market situation all right, great, great to talk to you, Mary. That's Mary Fonua, who is reporting there from Tonga. The Duke and Duchess fly out from Tonga tomorrow and will be in Sydney for the end of the Invictus Games before their four-day visit to Wellington, Abel Tasman, Auckland and Rotorua.